thousands of people convicted of low-level federal crimes, then released during the pandemic, will not have to go back to prison. A recent decision by the Department of Justice ends lingering uncertainty, the subject of our ongoing reporting. KXN investigator Matt Grant caught up with one man whose story gained national attention over a 20-year-old drug conviction he's still paying for. It really hadn't sunk in yet, Matt. Disbelief after a sentence is cut short. This is Kendrick Fulton's 20th year in federal custody, serving 33 years for selling cocaine. We first met Fulton two years ago in Round Rock after he was released on home confinement as part of the CARES Act to help slow the spread of COVID in prisons. What would you say to people who feel like you shouldn't be out right now, that you should be in prison because you committed a crime and you should do your sentence? You know, for the people that say you do your time, you do the crime, just look, I've done 17 years. Now a judge has commuted his sentence to 25 years. With credit for time served and good behavior, Fulton, who now lives in Arlington and works full time as a truck driver, says he'll be free at the end of the year. Sky's the limit. I can actually get my own truck, you know, so I'm just, I'm just excited. You know, it's been a long time, Matt. You know, I was excited about uh, great big things to come. The Bureau of Prisons says more than 13,000 inmates were released to home confinement nationwide since 2020, including nearly 2,000 from Texas. A small fraction, just over 500, returned to prison for unspecified violations. A sign the experiment's working, according to Families Against Mandatory Minimums, a nonprofit advocating for sentencing reform and clemency for those released. Overwhelmingly, they've done just fine. Crime didn't go up. There was no crime wave. The CARES Act home confinement program is a wild success and it should be made permanent. What hasn't been permanent was a plan for those released once the pandemic ended. In early 2021, the Department of Justice said those affected would be required to finish serving their sentences behind bars. By the end of that year, the DOJ reversed and said the Bureau of Prisons would have discretion to keep this group on home confinement after U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland said this. It would be a terrible policy to return uh, these people to prison after they have shown uh, that they are able to live in uh, home confinement without uh, uh, violations. This April, President Biden declared the pandemic over. That same month, the DOJ issued its final ruling, allowing those released under the CARES Act to remain in home confinement for the rest of their sentence, as long as they're compliant with all conditions of supervision. For Fulton, who just turned 50 and watched his daughter graduate college, it's another welcome milestone. Trouble is easy to get in and it's hard to get out of. Through adversity, what you go through or what happens in your life don't have to define you. You know, you can always get better by a situation. Matt Grant, KXAN Investigates. And Fulton's case was given another look because of the First Step Act of 2018. That allows the Fair Sentencing Act of 2010, which reduces cocaine sentences, to apply retroactively.